Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today, we'll be going back to the basics. How to make your tire shine last its longest. Step number one, I already have a dirty wheel. That's going to give me a great example for you guys. So I can show you guys how to probably prep your tire before you apply any type of dressing to it. Before we get back into the video, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. We post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with full knowledge about detailing. So I already have my freeloader right here with all my arsenal I'll be using today. If you have not checked out our freeloader, I recommend you do so. It hooks up to your creeper dolly as well as your bucket so you keep your arsenal at your fingertips. So I have my masking tape and I'll just put a 50-50 down the line. So like this, I know which is going to be my control side and which is going to be the side I treated. So I'm just simply going to put a tape line down the middle. On my left hand side, it's going to be the control side. I am not going to do anything to this side and to that side, I'll be cleaning it as well as protecting it using VRP. So let's get right into it. First of all, we're gonna need an all purpose cleaner. In this occasion, I will not be using any type of water whatsoever. So this could be used around your garage, at the office or any car show you're at. You can just simply use these simple steps to dress your tires so you can make your tires look its best at all given times. So Nonsense Super Cleaner is an all-purpose cleaner that virtually works everywhere. Your engine bay, your interior, your exterior, you can use it anywhere as long as you dilute it to your needs. In this occasion, I'll be using full strength out of the bottle just because this is actually a spare tire and this spare tire has been sitting behind the car because it is a RAV4, so this is behind the car for the past two years. So we're gonna get Nonsense Super Cleaner and we're gonna get to the cleaning action. So I'll just spray it generously onto the surface of the tire and I'll let it sit there so it could start dwelling and then I'll grab my nifty brush. My nifty brush has nylon bristles on it that's going to help me scrub out the dirt and gunk that is sitting on this tire and then I'll just go to the surface and I'll just start scrubbing it and you guys can see immediately the foam starts turning brown. The reason why it starts turning brown is because it's been years that this tire has gotten any love to it or any cleaning action to it so this is why it starts turning brown so we want to remove all the dirt grime and filth from the tire so whenever i come back to apply a tire dressing it's actually going to bond properly onto rubber and it doesn't bond on dirt so just scrub it out and if you need more nonsense feel free to apply more nonsense you could also use nonsense super cleaner when you have running water but in this occasion i do not have running water because we are actually inside the garage so let me just finish scrubbing it Once I'm done scrubbing it, I will actually grab a black towel just so I could make sure I remove all the dirt and grime. We always recommend color coordinating your towels so like this you avoid cross-contamination. So black towels here at Detail Garage, we like to use them on tires or any dirty, super dirty, filthy surfaces. While green towels we use for the exterior, blue for the glass, gray for the metal pieces, brown for the leather. So as you guys can see, all of that is just dirt and filth that has been sitting on the tire. So if I was to go and apply our tire dressing onto this tire, unfortunately it will not bond or last as long. So I'll just flip over to a clean side and just buff off more residue or any residue that actually left behind. So just by cleaning the tire, you guys can see a night and day difference. I mean, the tire looks now, it actually looks black now, it no longer looks brown. And this is actually a very clean tire. So now if I was to move on to my next step, which is going to be applying VRP, which is VRP is a water-based dressing. A water-based dressing like VRP can be used on the interior of the car as well as the exterior car, engine bay. So like this, you make sure you cover all vinyl rubber plastic pieces. But in this occasion, VRP is a water-based dressing that can be applied on the interior and exterior vehicle. So, and it's a customer favorite, so I just want to use this since we're going back to the basics. Let me just grab my applicator as well. And then the applicator I'll be using today is going to be the foam applicator. This foam applicator contours to the tire. So anytime I squeeze down onto it, it's going to contour onto the surface and it's going to give me a very even spread. So before anything, just shake up the product. I'll go to my applicator and I'll apply one long line. And then I'll go to the tire and I'll just blotch it out so I can get, a, get an even spread. And then I'll just start working it in. By working it in, VRP immediately starts penetrating the rubber of this tire. And the rubber of this tire that is now clean, it's actually allowing the VRP dressing to adhere properly to the tire and it's not going to fail over time. You can keep this in mind. If I was to just apply VRP onto the dirty area, it's not going to adhere properly to rubber, it's going to adhere onto the dirt. So after the dirt just wears off and you drive off, it's not going to work properly. So in this occasion, I'll be using 
VRP with Naughton Super Cleaner, and I like to have my tire super shiny and I like to give it multiple coats. So that's why I applied a secondary line because I want to give it high amounts of coats. So like this, I ensure a very high shine and it will not fail over time. So just rub it on back and forth. And VRP, you can also control the level of shine. If you don't want a super high shine, just let it dry. It is dry to a touch. As soon as you apply it, it's completely dry to a touch. But if you want to just get a mild shine or more of a natural shine, just simply grab a clean microfiber towel and buff off any residue. So now you have a control level shine at your fingertips. So let me just make sure I work it in properly. And I already see a night and day difference. I mean, the tire it looks 10 times way better. The owner of this car is finally going to have dressed up tires and the tires are no longer going to be looking dull. So if I remove my tape line, Put this off to the side. I'll grab my microfiber towel, just like so go buff off any residue that came onto this side. Just dry it up. You guys can see a big before and after. This side is dull, neglected, and brown. Compared to this side, it is now lustrous black, it has a high shine, and nonetheless, it is also protected. So guys, if you guys wanna pick up any of these products today that I use in this video, you can hop onto the website right now, chemicals.com, or stop by your local detail garage. I recommend you do so. We have over 85 detail garage locations across the globe, including Canada and the UK. As always, I'm Henry, and thank you for sharing your passion for shine with Chemical Guys.